In this lesson, we're going to explain why mixing of paint colors is different from mixing of light colors. A lot of people cannot get around the idea that mixing red, green, and blue gets white. This is because it runs counter to their daily experience when they mix paints of or colors using crayons or color pencils. When you mix red, green, and blue paint all together and stir them well, you get a big dull mess and not the white color as expected in physics lesson. Here's a demo. This is red. Now this blue. Notice when we mix. Similarly, similarly green. Notice there's a great difference between your left picture and your right picture. Okay. Besides the red, green, blue, the rest is black, actually, in fact. Another point is that students also find it hard to accept that green is a primary color. A primary color is a color that you cannot obtain by mixing other colors. And any school kid can tell you that when they mix yellow with light blue, they can get green. How can green be a primary color? In fact, I can get blue and red by mixing other colors too. So again, how can red and blue be primary colors? This is a demo. In this case, we are going to mix yellow with cyan, which is light blue. Cyan. Again, look when they overlap. and magenta. Look carefully when they overlap. You see red and you see blue. And right center is black. So why does this happen? In fact, there are actually two types of mixing of colors. Mixing of colors actually uh, using light, which we have gone through before. And then they are mixing colors using paint. For example, using paint, of course, color pencils and crayons. When we mix colors using light, it's a standard primary color addition diagram, which again look like this. Okay, so actually when you mix colors using light, by shining lights on it, you do get that uh, blue, green, and red, and cyan, magenta, yellow, and white right at the center when you mix all three colors. All TV, laptops, and tablets, handphone screens, colors are obtained using this concept of different RGB light levels as taught in the previous lesson. To explain why mixing colors using paint differs from using light, we have to first understand why do we see colors of an object. Take this green leaf for example. Why do we see it as green? When we see a green leaf, the leaf is actually not giving out green light actively. Instead, it is actually taking the surrounding light source, for example the sun, and it reflects only the green light to our eyes. Remember that white light actually comprises of seven colors. It means that when the leaf reflects only green light, it has also absorbed the rest of the color. So you can think of a green leaf as somewhat like a green color filter. It only allows green light to pass through and reach our eyes. So a green paint as you also works similarly. It only reflects green light and absorbs the rest. 
So how does that explain mixing pure green and red paint doesn't give you yellow, instead it gives you a black mess. Shouldn't red paint would give you red light and green paint will give you green light and when combined together they give yellow? Unfortunately, this is not the model when we are mixing paint colors. So this one doesn't work this way. Instead, the model looks more like this. And again, filter is the key as in how to work. When the paints are mixed together, the green and the red filter are stacked one after another like this. When the white light reaches the mixed paint, it has to go through two filters. The green paint will only allow green light to pass through. However, when the green light reaches the red paint, it doesn't pass through as the red paint only allow red light to go through. As a result, there is no or little light can pass through due to the two primary color filters. Thus, the mixed paint appears to be dull and black to us. And it doesn't matter if the order is red then green, as the result will still be the same. Black is the overlapping color when you mix green with red. So based on the above idea, would you be able to come up with the explanation why mixing yellow, magenta and cyan? So yellow and magenta paint will give you red color. Magenta with cyan gives you blue color. And cyan with yellow gives you green color. Think about it for a while. Let's use mixing CN with yellow gives you the green example. Again, similarly, it's similar to as the filter effect. In this case, CN paint will allow CN light to pass through. But actually, CN is made out of green and blue light. And when this light reaches the yellow filter, which allows only green and red, it will absorb the blue, but will allow the green to pass. Thus, the mixed paint of cyan and yellow will appear to be green. So again, referring to the picture, will you be able to come up with an explanation for the red color by mixing yellow and magenta? Or coming with blue color by mixing magenta with cyan. That's all for today. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.